Well, hi everybody. Welcome back. I don't know why this is not uh, going here. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> this is Kim. Welcome back. Thanks to all of you for uh, watching this video. This one um, is going to be pretty quick, but basically my completion rate took a hit this weekend. Uh, this is a DoorDash issue. Um, sometimes it's necessary to unassign a delivery. You know, um, I do DoorDash and Grubhub and um, I don't normally have this problem, but this weekend was just kind of crazy for me. So I want to explain what happened and talk about it. So before I forget, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And if you enjoy this video or you find it useful, um, please click like. I'd appreciate that a lot. Okay, so first of all, I hate to unassign deliveries. I work really hard to make sure not to accept an order if I don't ex intend to complete it. I understand that if I unassign, it hurts my completion rate. I understand that the completion rate matters. I don't want customers not getting their food or getting it super late. I really am a very conscientious person and when I get an order, I drive right to the restaurant, I wait for the food, I pick it up and I go straight to the customer. I don't dilly-dally, I don't sit in my car and watch YouTube videos, whatever. I go right from the restaurant to the customer. I understand customer service. I understand the importance of getting the food to the customer, you know, in a timely manner and with the food in good condition. <laughs> but sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to. So sometimes you need to unassign an order. This past weekend, um, I had to unassign a few orders. There are a few, there's a few reasons why, and I'm going to share them with you. There are other reasons. These were just the reasons why I had to unassign them this weekend. Um, but you know, I'm sure there's a lot more reasons. These were just the ones that happened, you know, yesterday and today. So. This main reason happened two times, once yesterday and once today. I arrive at the restaurant and they say they don't have the order. And these are restaurants that typically don't have that problem. I have some that say that all the time and um, I have stopped going to those restaurants, but these are decent restaurants that I don't usually have problems with. Um, so it kind of caught me off guard. So this was yesterday, Saturday. Um, they told me they would need to contact DoorDash because they never received the order. I showed them the order on my phone and they said they couldn't make the order based on my screen, that they actually needed it in their system and they were gonna try to refresh and do all these things. Um, the manager came out and basically told me that um, it was, going to take some time because they're going to have to call DoorDash because they reset the, the um, you know, their um, iPad thing and, you know, the order didn't show up for that customer. They're like, oh, we've gotten all these others. You know, I don't know what's going on with that person. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I texted the customer and let them know that the order was never received and that the restaurant was going to contact DoorDash to get the order information. Um, and that there would be a delay getting their order, obviously, because the restaurant didn't even have it yet. And the person, you know, wrote back, says, oh, thanks for the update, you know, etc." And then I asked, um, again, I'm like, okay, how long is this all going to take? And they said, oh God, at least 20 to 30 minutes because we're going to call them, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I obviously was not going to wait 20 to 30 minutes for this order. So I unassigned it. Now, I realize that things happen. I, you know, I get it. But I also, I'm not going to waste 30 minutes of my time sitting there doing nothing when I could be off, you know, doing another order. So I unassigned it 
and I texted the customer and let them know that someone else would be delivering the food. And I'm sure someone else would accept it. It was a nice order. I don't remember exactly what it was, but you know, 10 or $12 going two or three miles. So I'm sure someone else will accept it and come pick up their food. Um, anyway, so that was yesterday's issue. And today it happened again at a different restaurant. Um, and this restaurant, however, was happy to use the order information on my phone to start the order. Um, it was still going to take 15 to 20 minutes, however. Now, I had another order in my car I'd already picked up. You know, this was part of a stacked order. Um, and I couldn't wait 20 minutes and let that customer's food sit in my car and get cold. And I basically, I go to this restaurant a lot, and I basically told them, I'm like, I'm so sorry, I can't wait. I have more food in my car. I really need to go deliver that. Um, and they were cool, and they're like, yeah, we understand. You know, it's not, you know, whatever. So um, I texted the customer again and let them know what was going on, that they had not received their order, and there would be a delay, but that the customer was, you know, the um, restaurant was going to start cooking it, and another uh, dasher would be assigned to come pick it up and you know they thanked me for the update and that was fine um i know what you're thinking why didn't i just go deliver the other food and then come back well it was not that close the first delivery so i would not have been able to make it back in 15 to 20 minutes you know because the delivery was probably about 10 12 minutes away so by the time I would have driven all the way over there and dropped off the food and then driven all the way back, it would have been, you know, probably close to a half hour later. And uh, anyways, it was just, I think, better to just unassign and let someone else come pick up the food. So anyways, that was another time I had to unassign. Now, here's another reason. I arrived at the restaurant two minutes before pickup time. It's not ready. Okay, this was Cheesecake Factory, and the food is generally not ready on time. But that's okay. I mean, it's usually within 5-10 minutes. But um, anyways, the girl went and checked to see how long it would be. And she said, oh, it looks like it's almost ready. I'm like, okay, perfect. So I wait and wait. Okay, now it's 10 minutes late. So I asked them to go check the status again. She comes back and tells me that they're out of apple juice. And they've been holding the order. They called the customer, but the customer didn't answer. Can I try contacting them? I'm like, yeah, sure. So I text the customer, let her know that they're out of apple juice. Would you like to substitute milk, lemonade, soda, etc.? No response. So then I waited about a minute or so, and then I called. Um, the voicemail was full, so I couldn't leave a message. I called back again. No answer. So... Um, I asked the girl if the order was ready and if they were just waiting for the drink choice. And she said, no, it wasn't ready because they were afraid the order was going to be canceled. I'm like, um, okay, that's strange. Why would someone cancel the order based on just some apple juice? But, okay, I didn't, um, I had already wasted like 15, 20 minutes here during this whole interaction and at this point, the, it was already due to be delivered, the drop-off time. I can't remember um, exactly the timing, but it was already time to drop off the food, and it wasn't even ready yet. So even if I would have told them to substitute for milk or something, um, it still would have been really late. So anyways, I basically decided to just unassign. The customer was not responding and, you know, I did what I could do, and there was nothing further for me to do, so I unassigned that order. What would you do in that situation? Would you stay? Would you, I mean, how would you deal with that? What other way could you have dealt with that? Um, now, this one was this afternoon, which was probably an order I should not have taken in the first place, but it was about the end of lunchtime and the orders have, you know, were slowing down. It was like $9 for four miles or something like that at Chipotle. And Chipotle has been okay lately. So, you know, I hope for the best. I'm like, okay, great. I'll go there. I'll pick up this Chipotle and then go deliver it. Well, I get there and it's not ready yet. 
I'm five minutes early, so okay, great. I'll wait, you know, five, ten minutes. So um, almost immediately when I arrive, because I clicked arrive in the app, the customer starts texting me asking me what's taking so long. Um, I told them it's not ready yet, but I'm at the restaurant waiting. Literally every 30 seconds, he's texting, why am I just standing there? What are you doing? You know, I want my food, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, what does he expect me to do? Um, I'm waiting for the food. I can't make them cook it any faster. I can't make them pack it up any faster. Um, so I stopped responding to him. I just said, I'm still waiting. And then I didn't answer all his other questions. Um, then he texts again saying that he's sick of us taking so long to bring the food. He's never going to use DoorDash again and blah, 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 blah. And then at that moment, I decided this was a no-win situation and this customer was already getting hostile. So I unassigned that one too. I'm like crazy. I unassigned four in two days, which is not typical for me. I mean, I really, really tried not to unassign any, but I just had to. And anyways, it's, it was just crazy. So that's that. Sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes you just have to unassign. I don't want to wait 30 minutes for food. I don't want to deliver to customers who are hounding me and acting hostile. And I don't want to deliver to customers who won't respond to calls and texts. And their lack of communication is making their delivery very late. You know, I, our time is worth money. I, I'm not going to just stand there for 20, 30, 40 minutes, you know, on an order, a $10 order or something like that. It's just... I don't know. Sometimes you just have to unassign. So what do you think? Do you wait a long time for food? What's your minimum? What's, I mean, what's your maximum wait time? Do you unassign when the wait gets too long? Like after 10 minutes, you automatically just unassign? Or what do you do? How do you deal with it? Would you deliver to the pain in the butt customer who is acting irate towards you? Would you continue on that path or just unassign the order? I'd love to hear your opinions. Um, I think it's interesting that we all have a different way of looking at this issue, but sometimes you just need to unassign, and I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. So anyways, I hope that this was useful to you, and maybe you can um, share some information that will help me deal with it better in the future. But anyways, I hope you're having a great day evening, whatever it is, whatever time you're watching this. Uh, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you next time.